summer so far. We're already through June and into July. I cannot believe it. It's a holiday weekend. You got the 4th tomorrow. And, you know, maybe you'll see a parade, catch some fireworks, go to a barbecue, jump in the pool. Whatever you do, just enjoy your holiday weekend. We've had a lot going here on here in the library, so I hope you've been able to come by and enjoy something indoors or outdoors here at the library or both. And we're going to continue to have some summer fun here in July as well, so I will talk more about that after I read. But we're going to talk about Katie Blue and Red, White, and Blue and Katie Blue. And this comes out of our level two uh, books. And we have several more right behind me here in our early readers section in the children's library, right after the stories section. And now there's level one up to level four, depending on your level of reading. And this one is a chapter book. There's three little chapters in here. And then you'll find as you go through like level three, level four, you'll find some more chapter type books with some more some more chapters, more than three, and more pages, and maybe the print, the words will be a little bit smaller. But that just kind of, as you catch on reading, you know, you'll just kind of keep on growing, you know, in the number of pages you read, the number of words you are, can say, you know, type things, and you'll just, that makes reading that much more exciting. So, today we're going to read, like I said, uh, red, white, and blue in Katie Wu, and it has three chapters in its table of contents. And we're going to get started with the first chapter. So, chapter one, Katie's favorite holiday. The 4th of July is my favorite holiday, said Katie Wu. Jojo laughed. Katie, you say that about every holiday. Well, I have more than one favorite, too. I guess I do, Katie said with a smile, but the 4th of July is the best. We're having a parade and a party in my backyard. And then don't forget the fireworks, said Pedro. Katie and Pedro and Jojo put red, white, and blue decorations on their bike. Everyone cheered when they rode by in the parade. Way to go, yelled Katie's mom and dad. So they're showing off their decorations on their bike in the, in the parade that they had. And after the parade, oh, sorry, we're in chapter two now, Backyard Fun. After the parade, they went back to Katie's house. Pedro said, Katie, your yard is so big, we can play soccer in it. Fun little game of soccer. Katie kicked the ball hard. I can get it, yelled Pedro. He backed up to hit the ball with his head. Oops, Pedro tripped over the table and fell down. He spilled cherry soda all over his head. No points for you, yelled Katie Wu. I think he's more worried about the cherry soda that's on his, in his hair than if he got points or not. <laughs> the hot dogs are ready, called her dad. But where are the bonds? Uh-oh, Kitty grind. JoJo's dog ate them. The hot dogs looked lonely without the bonds. The dog, you can tell, he looks guilty, doesn't he? Like, he knows he did something he shouldn't have. Kitty's mom put out big bowls of strawberries and blueberries and whipped cream. We'll eat this later, she said. It'll be our dessert. I'd like to eat it now, said Jojo. Come on, Katie said. Let's play ring toss. The three friends tossed red, white, and blue hoops at stakes in the ground. And if you notice, the red, white, there's red, blue, and white stars. I keep missing, said Jojo. She cheered herself up by eating a, blue, a few blueberries. Whenever she missed, Jojo ate some more. Pedro won the ring, to ring toss game. Oh, 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 Jojo groaned. I think I ate too many blueberries. I have a stomach ache. She's holding her little tummy. 
Chapter 3, Friends and Fireworks. Then it began, it began to rain. Oh no, Kitty Fernie, no fireworks. They began bringing all the food inside. Carrie, Katie carried the whipped cream. I like a little taste, Katie decided. She pressed the button hard, too hard, and whipped cream sprayed everywhere. Jojo's dog licked it up. So it looks like he had those hot dog buns and for dessert he had some whipped cream. Our 4th of July party is truly red, white, and blue, said Katie. Pedro turned red when he spilled cherry soda on his head. I am white because I'm covered with whipped cream. And I felt blue, said Jojo, from eating too many blueberries. Look, said Pedro. The rain stopped. Yay, cheered Kitty. There will be fireworks. First, let's have dessert, said Kitty's mom. I'll skip the blueberries, decided Jojo. The three friends sat together in the backyard. What color will the fireworks be? Said, asked Pedro. What? Red, white, and blue, said Katie. And she was right. And, and then it's got a little glossary explaining some of the words that we shared in the book, what they mean, some questions you can discuss about the story, and some cooking with Katie, a little recipe in there. And if you grab a lot of these books down here at the library, I started to notice that a lot of them do have either fun facts or uh, a glossary that has definitions or just other activities that you can do um, along with the story. So it makes that book that much more exciting to read and to enjoy. So, like I mentioned, July is also another busy month for the summer reading program, for other activities and events. We've got another concert I mentioned coming up next Saturday, July 10th. I'll be outside for story time Saturday, next Saturday morning, July 10th at 10.30. And then I'll be out the last two Saturdays out there as well for story time Saturday. We have fun in the sun again with Ag, with Miss Melinda. She'll be coming back on July 16th at 2 for a, for a program called Colors from the Soybeans. Uh, we have Miss Ashley Hong coming, the, art, the Pole School's art teacher doing an art activity, or art reading an activity with me on July 12th, and that's from 10.30 to noon, that's a Monday. And we have like the games you can play, the color bingo, we have a stick together uh, type thing we're doing here at the library, so whenever you come in, uh, put a sticker on a letter, and it'll, we're going to be creating a nice beautiful image when it's all done. So you got to come in and check that out. You'll know what I'm talking about. So down here in the children's library area, I'm going to start getting out more of the children's furniture, the Lego table. I, this table here will have coloring sheets, activities on it for you to do. Um, you can make, right now you can make these little fans here for the 4th of July. Keep yourself cool in the, this heat. And I will always have our books pulled out for our read square. And we're in, going into week five, which will be purple. So you'll have those down here to come down and grab and log into your read square online summer writing program. And then at the end of the month, we have the wrap up party for this, which is July 31st. So all kinds of things going on each and every week. Uh, there is more than one. <laughs> so. Uh, Step on in, uh, check out our Facebook for all these events. Uh, we have a newsletter you can pick up, uh, just or just go ahead and email any one of us or call and we can answer any questions you may have. But you know, keep coming by, keep having some fun with us, and we enjoy having you. So have a nice holiday weekend. See you on Saturday.